Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to this channel whether you're new or whether you're a cyber angel that is the old and faithful followers of this channel thank you very much I appreciate you coming back and I've got additional things today there's also a video out there of news and updates that are new things coming uh, your way exciting things like today we've got the crystal ball um, but before I go into that um, please uh, note that there is information below this video um, and also in the corner around here there will be a white dot with an eye that is a link that will take you to my website have a scout around and there you can see the uh, reviews that I do on decks as well and uh, I haven't uploaded this beautiful new deck that I've got it's the House of Shadows Oracle deck and it is actually a Lenamon deck but it's quirky and it's fun if you like the Adams family then you will like this deck it is uh, done by Monica Bruhinski and it's awesome so I will be using that for this reading as well but first we're going to start off with the crystal ball and please subscribe and hit the bell if you would like to be notified if you don't want to be notified then make sure that you subscribe I would appreciate it if you would it will save it uh, the, it will save the channel in your library and then it are, will be easier to find just go to your library and click on the link but if you do click the bell and you would like to be notified then make sure that you uh, don't set it on private but click for all um, otherwise you will not be notified there are some issues with this notification um, I'm getting to hear uh, from viewers that they're not getting notified I have the same issue even if I have uh, put in for all never mind uh, it's the new system we'll have to grin and bear the baby mistakes okay and this is selenite this is also a healing stone that my sister gave to me and of course my angel from Brenda Tarot readings because uh, my faithful followers will cyber angels will know that I work with the angels as well I have the Enchanted uh, Dream Tarot, I've got a review on that as well and today is the uh, International uh, Women's Day and this is really relating to this deck I, I forgot about it, I didn't even know it existed until last night when one of my viewers told me it would be the International Women's Day today so I've learned something from my viewers, my cyber angels, thank you and I'm also using the uh, old favorite but is also a fairly new deck the Angel Feather deck you can use uh, the colors as uh, color therapy and of course the Angel's advice then I'm using the Archangel Metatron deck and he is awesome this is also colors, numerology, a saying um, or an affirmation and I've had loads of positive reactions but go and have a look at the update video and news it will be at the end of this video on the back screen okay so let's get started with your reading Virgo and I'm going to clean the crystal first of all and uh, because I've been using them for all the readings and uh, I'm so ah with my happy with my crystal ball. I'm going to ask you to have a look. Perhaps you might see something in the crystal ball yourself. And this it looks like glitter, doesn't it? That is what it looks like okay so this is your reading for the um, 9th till the 15th of March okay let's get started right um, I do see I do see a dividing line and I also see a bubble 
So you might have put yourself into a bubble of protection with white light. Uh, you might be dividing yourself. Uh, that could be, you might be dividing yourself between work and the home front. And you find it pretty difficult. Um, I think the home front is more busy than at work and sometimes I, th I get the feeling why can't I work from home so that you are closer to home that you're united that you feel united and safe that is what I'm getting now I think there will I also see a sword in here somehow and I think you're going to go for a period that you're going to pull back and you're going to think about things you're going to um, come to a point that you're going to think uh, how can I change this so you don't feel out of balance um, that you don't feel divided or dispersed um, that you are dispersing is like I see a mirror shattering little bits everywhere so that you spread yourself too thinly you want to be more balanced you want quiet you want quiet you want peace sometimes it takes a while before I can see something because he has been really busy I've already used them for uh, eight other videos so perhaps he's <laughs> I don't know losing energy perhaps it's you that's losing energy that could be it's like water hit it, it I get I get to hear cl 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 like when you're sitting in a boat and the water is gushing against a boat sometimes you feel as if you are knocking like water against the boat not going anywhere but just hitting hitting your head against the brick wall is there somebody stubborn around you is there somebody stubborn around you do you feel as if you're drifting no to nowhere okay we've got a good aspect here yes you will find the solution though because I I also see a, a top and a bottom and in between you are in between like I said divide it but you will sweep to the, s swim to the, the the shallow side so you're coming up okay you're come you're coming up for air you're coming on dry land I don't know whether you can understand this but it's like you were thrown in the deep end and you had to get to know you had to gather knowledge you had to plant the right seeds uh, in order to get the results but you're coming you're coming out now you're coming out on top form so don't give up don't give up there is more money coming towards you I also see a circle with with diamonds points so you're coming out the star I could easily say you are the star or you will be the star there will be uh, others helping you you and I also see an anchor a golden anchor so you will stay there it's money gold anchor anchor means yes anchor Lenman yes um, you will come out to the top you will reach the top there might be an offer coming your way okay now we're going to start uh, I know it sounds very quick and abrupt but uh, I have to let the uh, crystal ball charge up so I'm just going to cover it let it don't get the energy of the cards and you know um, I saw a crystal ball and I thought of buying it that's about a year and a half ago it was really massive I'm glad I didn't because when I said how much is it then the guy said in the shop Oh, it's been brought back because it's um, um, 
it organized a fire it caused a fire sorry that's my dutch i'm bilingual it caused a fire i said how can it catch fire yes if you leave crystal out in the sun it works with prisms like the prisms the colors of the rainbow um, and it can start a fire it can be like a magnifying glass if you hold that in the sun on a piece of paper um, it can create fire so and also uh, the story is you should always cover the crystal ball up um, so it doesn't lose energy I do have to clear and clean the crystal ball to uh, purify the energy okay that's the card shaken these cards represent the the women and the feminine side of us the first card you have is the wheel of fortune or destiny then we have the world wow two karma cards now I'll go and pick one in the middle and we've got the three of swords then we have the six of cups okay then we have the bottom of the cards okay let's have a look and you have the ten of cups Ooh, happy families well I wonder what the story will be okay Virgo just put that blue out the way I don't like my desk cluttered but I it happens to be that it always is because I'm always doing readings and I'm late with the romance uh, readings sorry but they will be out as soon as possible because I am getting really busy I've got a website that I've got to keep up to date okay and Mandrake that's one of the new cards there's five extra cards in this deck okay so let's get started with the cards and of course I've got still got the angel cards and the Metatron cards I've just got to stop a minute because I've got to go and get a glass of water sorry about that um, uh, you know you have to do so many videos and you speak so much that sometimes it just gets a little bit much so sorry about that hi Virgo I'm sorry uh, I've just done 20 minutes on your video that's why the cards are lying here and I go back and there is no sound so I'm going to start all over again right on Monday you have the wheel of destiny in other decks it's called the wheel of fortune and the hands are between the uh, uh, cancer and the scales so perhaps you are not emotionally in balance at this moment but it could be that you're going up because the hands of the clock are moving up and around so we all have our ups and downs you have come to the end of your down you are going upwards perhaps your relationship might have had a bad period and it's moving on again in a good period perhaps you're going up a next level from friendship to partnership from partnership to engagement or marriage wow great 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 this is also my karma card that means if you've done good you will get threefold back if you've done bad you'll get threefold back as well you might be moving home or going on holiday anyway you're going into a better phase of life if you've had your eye on a car then uh, you could be getting your car as it represents the wheel then we have the bear and the bear means basically um, you can stand your ground and you protect you protect what is dear to you what you are passionate about and what you love but there might be somebody jealous around you so be warned somebody is jealous so stay away from jealous people you don't have to defend yourself because you're larger than life you are strong you're tough okay 
this could also be that you might uh, be getting help from institutions as well. Luck is on your side. Now, the next card, that's for Wednesday, we have the world. The world. You've got the world in your hands. The world is your oyster. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. Who knows? It also means the same as the the wheel of destiny. What goes round comes round. That's why I say it is also my karma card. You might you are balanced. You are back in balance because you have the six here and usually you see this with a lady with buttons balancing. She and nude. She's got nothing to hide. She is in her balance. So you've come full circle and ready <coughs> for the new one. And I'm saying you're back in balance because you're in your power. You might have found something out. Let's have a look. We've got the card and here you can see the moon. The moon is wearing a mask and it's got a long nose. Okay. And somebody's dangling there. So somebody might not have been true to you. Somebody might have been lying to you or hiding things from you and you didn't know. But the moon is a spotlight like the sun and the moon star. And the moon has also got the dark side of the moon. Not knowing secrets, need more information, doing research. But this nose reminds me of Pock Pinocchio and his nose grew and grew and grew every time he told a lie. Perhaps somebody has been telling you a lie. Also, your emotions might be heightened, especially during the Mercury retrograde, because the Mercury retrograde is uh, the Mercury is retrograde until around between the tenth and the fourteenth. One reader says the tenth, and the other one says the fourteenth, but it will still have a tail after the fourteenth. So, if you are moving home, don't sign any contracts until after the fourteenth of March. Okay. Your emotions might be heightened, your psyche might be heightened, your intuitiveness might be heightened, especially in this astrological and mystical period. Then on Friday we have the Three of Swords and look at the butterflies. There is transformation, but she's also wearing a veil. Perhaps this is you and she's letting a tear drop on her cheek. Perhaps you are sad because you've lost something. It could be a pet, it could be a friendship, it could be an item, it could be a job, it could be a house. But fear not because the house is there. You will be getting a new beginning, a new house. And like I said, you might even get help from institutions. You are defending yourself and your family. So don't worry. Um, time will heal. Uh, you are. There could be a third party. Like I said, somebody might have been lying to you. And that's why you've lost your house. Because the house had to be sold because you were getting divorced because there was a third party and they chose for a third party. This is hypothetical. And remember, this is a general reading. So, you have sown seeds. You know that because this is also creating. You have done your protection, okay? You've got luck on your side with the bear. You took no notice of this jealous person. It could have been unknown to you, okay? You can't do anything, but you've protected it. So, yes, these are cards for moving home. So if you haven't got a home now, you will be moving home. And I'm talking about a home. Look at that. That's the house. And the house means you feel protected and 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 uh, protected, safe, and you might be isolating yourself. But in this card, I also get you might be too much up in your head. There's a load of rubbish floating around, perhaps ghosts. 
Okay, you're making your own ghosts. Perhaps that is what's causing you sadness. But you are hiding behind a mask and a veil here. It could be because you found out that there was a third party. But my advice is come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of the house. Don't isolate yourself because that's what the house means in Lenaman. And here you're hiding behind veils and masks. Be your own person. Be the beacon. Be the light. Shine. And you will get invitations. You will have that recognition. You are on top of the world. The world is your oyster. Make use of it. On Saturday and Sunday you've got the mirrors, or rather the Six of Cups. And th these pictures, they are either from your past, or they are mirrors. Can you face yourself in the mirror? That's the question I'm getting for this card. Do you, would you like to be like somebody from yourself from the past? No. You want to be yourself at this moment and be true to yourself so that you can look in the mirror and say, you are beautiful, I love you, you're magic, and shine like a beacon. But remember, this card also means remembering your childhood memories or remember good memories as well as bad but somebody could be coming back from the past and giving you a gift now to um, to confirm or clarify the six of cups we've got the mandrake and the mandrake is number 37 that is a 10 and a 10 is an end of a face okay an end of a face and there is a new beginning wow you've got two new beginnings here then you've got coming back into balance being out of balance but so you're up and down number three be creative be a, a butterfly take that veil off and come out of your comfort zone and out of your head and comfort zone mandrake also means magic time to do something magical like ritual spell or perhaps something paranormal if you are un uninterested in the mystical and firmly rooted in the mundane just normal life this is a message to seek magic and adventure outside your normal daily routine so come out of your comfort zone take a walk with a powerful mandrake root because it looks like a root it's a magical root of old witch law and watch your life renew yes your life will be renewed if you open up your heart chakra because the heart is pierced forget about the past you can't drag a dead horse with you it's too heavy okay forget about the sadness the past is the past you can't alter it you can only alter the present and the future so if there is an old love gone forget about it learn from the experience transform into the butterfly you're no longer the caterpillar come out of your comfort zone and out of your head and go and have some adventure make your own magic be the beacon then you will also be invited to parties because you're attracting attention because you are in the spotlight right now we're going to the bottom of the cards and we've got the ten of cups the ten of cups if you and um, this is not with this but it could mean this that somebody might have passed away usually it's the um, in the basic meaning it means a triangular uh, love affair or relationship somebody has come in between you and your other 
okay, and has pierced your heart. And it could also mean on the other side, somebody, you might have lost somebody that has gone over to the next realm. They're my condolences and my love and support. But they've, this card is not here for nothing. They are giving you the rainbow, showing you that heaven and earth is connected. 10 is an end of difficulties. Happy, beautiful family time. Okay? New beginnings. Now, at the bottom of the Lenaman, you've got the cross. You have to make choices and decisions. Are you going the new way or are you going the old way? Have faith in yourself as others have faith in you. Trust. Trust yourself as others trust you. Open your heart and trust again and learn to love. From the angel feather we have the red angel feather and that's the root chakra that will ground you roots and a root here okay take action the angels advise you to protect oh sorry that a project or an idea that you have been working on is finally near the point of transformation this is the new beginning this is the new beginning awesome perhaps a new house so that you can be happy unit again even if you are alone I don't think all of you will get divorced or are separated um, we I am reading for general in general so if it doesn't resonate then please go and have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign remember the root chakra is Archangel Uriel that's one of the four angelic angels the major angels is like the angels of the round table that's how I imagine it and Archangel Metatron is giving you a dimensional gateway the same as the rainbow look at that there is a door opening for you an invitation will come to you and this is number 33 the angels are giving you a double number that's a number of luck a lucky number look out for the number three or three three Wow absolutely amazing Virgo I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope to that you would will uh, give us the thumbs up and leave a reaction please share this with family and friends I do appreciate it and I hope to see you in the life and if not in the life then in the next video. Take care, be blessed and have a beautiful week.